How's it going, guys? Happy October for you. Halloween is just around the corner, especially for Rust when we have the Rust update coming on Monday the 26th. So that's just the other side of the weekend for you. With that, you'll see some other additions to the item store uh, in addition to what we have gotten today. Now, let me clarify uh, two things. Those items will be the items from Face Punch. Uh, you can see those skull trophies and the skulls on pikes, which I showed you uh, in a teaser video earlier last week. And there may be some other items. There's something about a male and female version of the mummy costume, but that could have just been an update for NPCs. So don't get too excited about that, as well as something about a sheet ghost. So, you know, good old sheet you threw over your head, cut some holes in and go, ooh, I'm a ghost. Uh, so, uh, who knows? Those could be set up for NPCs, could be event only, or it could be a purchasable item. Those should come all along with the update. The other thing is, you've seen some winners changed. Well, it, uh, Help went back and looked at the quality of some of them in-game and decided they weren't up to his standard or quite what he wanted this week, so he did sub in a few things. So, starting with that, we've actually got this burlap head wrap, and this thing is really awesome. Uh, it was definitely on the list of my recommendations for the second week, so hey, it looks like Helk went ahead and said, nah, he wants it this week. This thing is crazy, whoop. And uh, it's gonna cost you $1.99, and it is the Death Mask, and uh, I think uh, LaCrumpe just did an amazing job with it. This thing's extra, extra spooky. And of course, you know, the next question is gonna be, does it glow? And... Of course, the eyes do. Come on now. Ah, there it is. It's like a little flashlight is like lighting it up. And uh, I, I think that's actually really, really cool. So definitely an awesome Halloween start. Next, we've got the Franken set for you. It's going to be two pieces, 99 cents each. So you can just score the set for just under two bucks. It's got this awesome face mask, all stapled together as you would expect Frankenstein to be. It looks like the bottom half of his jaw kind of fell off, however. So not too great about that. He's still got a little bit of hair going around, and looks like he's still in the process of being worked on. As you can see, he's got this easy access to the brain thing going on back here. And uh, it's definitely a really cool little addition, not just the same thing. You got some brains, and you got some Frankenstein going on. Front's got the same thing, lots of staples, and, uh, man, look at, look at these right here. Are those, like, screws? Oof. Ah. Well, you know, got to hold that to the chest plate somehow, right? Then in the back, we got the same thing going on, and then I think that, I don't know if that's a giant rivet or a bullet, uh, that is still stuck in him right there. I'm not entirely sure, but definitely looks like the end of a bullet to me. Definitely a cool-looking set, and fits right into the hype of getting into Halloween. Next, we've got the deployables for you, starting with this chest here. I think everybody should pretty much be aware of what a Ouija board is, or a spirit board, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this spirit box right here is a, well, a spirit board right up on top of it. You can see there's the little marker that moves around. You got your yes and no, and then you've got your ABCs and numbers going through. There's also kind of like a little witchy girl in the corner kind of there, a ghostly figure watching you then over here you've got some like psychic symbols you know stuff from the occult and so forth all to go along with it definitely a really cool looking box and it has that nice kind of like wood burned uh beat up hand you know hand burned look to it if you ever used a wood burner this this is pretty much what it comes out to look like so very cool this one will run you the usual deployable price of 149 <clears throat> Moving on, we've got another friend for you. You've got a furry friend for your house now. You pick this guy up, you can have your very own werewolf rug. You can see he's got some pretty gnarly teeth there on the side, and I, I really love the fur texture. It's very, it's something in between like a bear and, it, and like, I don't know, a really bushy wolf. And it, it kind of gives that really kind of thick fur feel that you, you would imagine a werewolf would have. And it's got these nasty claws. It's got some scars on it here and there. You can see definitely some good detail put to it. But what I really like actually is the glow. And the glow actually kind of extends over onto the snout a tiny bit with the eyes. And that's just something at night that looks really cool. So we'll have to check that one out when it glows, of course. 
And this will earn you the usual deployable of 149 as well. Moving on, we got some doors for you. It looks like the garage door didn't make it, but in exchange, we've got this cute wooden door from Vase. It is the Jinx wooden door, and everyone knows black hats and Halloween go hand in hand together. Well, it looks like this one is holding on to the doorknob, and you're just going to have to go ahead and decide. Is that? Hmm. Anyways, so <laughs> the doorknob looked a little bit weird, kind of plasticky. But you got these little pumpkins here and there and some ghosts around it. This is more of a kind of like festive, happier Halloween look kind of thing. Not as uh, evil or demonic as some of the other stuff. And you can just kind of fill that happy little Halloween spot with this door. Oop, and we got stuck. That's the nice thing with the wooden doors when people really take advantage of the double side. Next, we finally have a glowing double armored door. This is something people have been begging for forever. Well, it looks like Halloween is what brought it. So this, some people might be like, well, I don't want some Halloween one. Well, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. We finally have a glowing armor door, guys. So here it is in all its glory. This one's going to run you $2.99 for all of its amazing and glowiness. Toggle the hatch there. You can see the spider stays, but the web pops back. Or Well, it's not really a spider. Actually, that's kind of funny. So when it goes up, it actually kind of looks like a spider's body with a bunch of legs. But really, it's just the middle of the web. I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know. That's my interpretation. I don't know if you see, you know, comment if you guys see that too. One way or another, very nice looking door. It is identical on both sides. And one thing, if you look very closely, you can see it's got a little spook into it as there's some handprints you might not notice right away. There's something spooky going on in there for sure. So that's pretty much all of it. But we do have an AK as well. So I'm gonna pull this guy out and show it to you. And then we're gonna take a look at all this stuff at night. So here we go. Boom. There it is. This guy is the Change Spirits AR. It's going to cost you the most of anything this week at $3.99. And that's because it is kind of a uh, really glowy AK. So uh, it, it's one of those things that kind of fits maybe that niche or at least that glow color that people have been begging for with the Alien Relic set. This is probably the closest thing you're going to get to that as uh, this is the only kind of sci-fi that seems to rub help the right way. So, aiming down the sides here, you've got some kind of like, I don't know, demonic rune or something going on right there. And uh, it, it's just got all these crazy little faces on it. We shoot it off right there, and you can see you pop the mag back in there, and there's some kind of like, I don't know, what do you call it, demon jack-o'-lantern face thing going on? Definitely quite cool. But let's go ahead and hit the lights once again and check it all out. So here's our werewolf rug, and you can see what I mean, where it, the light of the eye shines forward. And I think that's a really cool effect. And can you imagine you pop through someone's base and you're just gonna have that in your face for a second? You're like, wait, uh, what's that? <laughs> then when we come to the door over here, you see the kitty's green eyes are glowing quite nicely as the pumpkins light up in the background. Of course, we'll view both sides. You can see the pumpkins are glowing both sides for you, along with hmm, one of those little eyes down there. Then over here, you can just see that beautiful glow. You're never going to get lost, <laughs> at least uh, with your ar glowing armor doors now in your base at night. That's for sure. So, boom. Go ahead and toggle that hatch. Very cool. And lastly, we've got the AK for you. Boom. Look at that. Aim down the sights there for you. And we'll pop a reload at night for the glow effect. Boom. There you are. All right, guys, that does it. So I hope you all have a uh, happy Halloween week. Look forward to Monday for the actual update and face punch items. Hopefully this stuff holds you over for the time being. Sound off down in the comment section below which ones you got. And uh, we will see you soon.